At Lancashire Cricket Club, we invited all staff to take part in fasting for a day. We call this staff initiative Rama Day. Everyone took part in fasting from sunrise to sunset and avoid caffeine, which I know was a struggle for a lot. <laughs> This is going to be the last thing I eat until 8pm tomorrow. About to have my last full meal before my full day of fasting tomorrow. Um, so I've got some toast, some yoghurt, some fruit, some Weetabix. Yoghurt is really good to quench your thirst before you start fasting. We originally were going to have this meeting in Cafe Nero, but obviously that was not a good idea. Um, yeah, starting to, uh, to struggle a little bit now. Surprisingly, I've not felt hungry at all, all day, which is bizarre. Oh, I made it to five to two, but I've had to have water. It's really given me an insight to how committed and how disciplined people are to follow the holy month of Ramadan all the way through. Just finished work, it's been really difficult to concentrate and kind of put my mind to anything properly, to be honest. A day of fasting taught me to appreciate food, water, um, but it also gave me a newfound respect for any Muslim colleagues that I have, the Muslim community. I would have found it a lot harder if I was doing it by myself. So to have people around me all day that were doing the same thing and we could lean on each other for support, you know, we were laughing and joking about it, distracting ourselves and so it really made me appreciate having people with the same like goal. Well, the thing about Ramaday that I, I really felt was, was fantastic was it kind of is, is helping one of our core values of welcoming, but also unified another one of our core values in terms of we're all in this together and we need to understand that we're all from different backgrounds, we have different cultures, and it's really important that we educate ourselves to understand that one person's day is different to another person's day. It definitely taught me to be more mindful of my Muslim colleagues. I think it's it's a hard period for them um, and it's definitely something that I think we as a community need to make sure that we're making it as a nicer experience as possible for them, you know, whether it's putting meetings in in the morning when they've got a higher level of concentration, uh, trying to not eat as much in front of them and drink, trying to not discuss food and also keep their morale high because they also find it quite challenging. Yeah, I thought Ramadan was a, a great uh, initiative um, and I really would encourage more staff to take part in it next year. Um, really eye-opening experience um, and, and really just shows what so many people have to go through throughout that whole month.